Good evening and welcome to the News at 10. I'm Gretchen Parsons. We start with this. Imagine seeing someone for the first time in more than 50 years after thinking they were dead. That's what happened today in Caldwell when three veterans reunited. Our Shira Matsuzawa is here with that very special reunion. Shira? Gretchen, I can tell you it was definitely an emotional moment for everyone involved. And it was made even more special because the Combat Veterans Motorcycle Association also joined to honor their fellow veteran. <laughs> this moment has been five decades in the making. Okay, stay with Where's the music? No, no. Where's the music? Turn it off. Turn it off. You're the same. But it's a moment Ivis Sloan and Jim Mattis never thought would happen. The last time I saw him was loading him on a helicopter. More than 50 years ago, Ivis and Jim were in Vietnam serving in the Army with Tony Solis. I was in the military together in the 4th Infantry Division. When Tony was critically hurt. I left before and I felt guilty living on the ride. I feel bad. <laughs> but we followed. We made it. <laughs> Ivis and Jim thought he died, but he didn't. Thanks to the internet, they found each other, and on Saturday afternoon, the three men reunited after all these years. Never thought I'd see my body again. 53 years. A moment made even sweeter. I was trying to figure out who he was. <laughs> I recognize I was right away. Because it came as a surprise during Tony's 76th birthday party. How many of these people do you know? I'm in Hall on that side. Most of them are my family. I live in Nieces, nephews. And the surprises didn't end there. Tony was also awarded a Purple Heart. Great to have you here. Jim. You bet. A happy memory now replacing the one from so long ago. Best surprise in my life. <laughs> now, Tony, as you saw, lives here in Idaho, but Ivis and Jim actually traveled from Tennessee and North Dakota to be here today. Gretchen? Oh, that is so cool. Thanks for that story, Shira.